The avocado. It's a social media sensation with nearly 8 million hashtags on Instagram. 8 million and one. In the last decade, we Australians have tripled our consumption of avocados, from around a kilo each to over three and a half kilo per person. Demand has risen so quickly, there's a problem with supply. There's a shortage of avocado trees. Graham Anderson's family has been growing avocados for 70 years, but even with 100,000 trees in their nursery, they Hello, can't keep Paul, up with demand. Yeah, I'm well, mate. Good. Everybody wants to eat avocados. They know how good they are. <laughs> If you order an avocado tree here tomorrow, it'll take five years before you get your delivery. 100,000. No wonder we have a shortage. And here's the reason why. I get what you call an avocado. Oh, yeah. Have a look, look at it. that. Wow. So that's where it all starts. That's where it all starts, yep. And why, why this variety in particular for, for the seed? What we need is something with lots of oomph in it to get our seeds to grow, lots of nutrition for our young plants. Hence the size? Hence the size. The way they've been growing avocados here is hard graft, literally. Once a sprout grows from a seed, it has to be grafted onto a sapling from a tree with proven disease resistance. So why bother with the grafting process? Well, they never grow two to type. The seeds, you could put a million seeds out. You might get one that's a really good tasting avocado. Right, so one in a million. One in a oh. million. So that's no good for anyone, really, especially well. commercial growers who have an expectation to meet. Exactly. Every one of the 100,000 trees here has been through this time-consuming process. Now we've got to insert it into the nurse plant. Luckily, I'm a quick learner. If I hold this here and you press the accelerator. OK. Whoa! Whoa. Bit low, whoa. yeah. Whoa, whoa. Let, let, let's start again with a little <laughs> bit of a lower speed. <laughs> Not towards you, do okay, the away, away yeah. from you. Yeah. So just work a little wedge. Yes, that's right. Very gently. That's about far enough. But my job is far from over. I've just made the rooting stock. When it matures in three months, it has to be grafted onto the fruiting stock. Which is normally at the moment, at the moment, has. Yep, a successful tree is made from three different plants. So Wait. that's from the seed, that's the grafted root stock, exactly. and then you'd graft the actual fruiting variety on top of this. Exactly. That's a very involved process. It is. So is it the length and complexity of the process that has given us the shortage? Well, the really big problem is that we just don't have enough of that seed that we really need. It's very, very scarce. So that's the bottleneck? That's the, the bottleneck. That, that first seed stock. Are there any ways that the process could be sped up? There is. But you'll have to go to the University of Queensland to find that out. Yeah, right. Man, it's absolutely fascinating. After a lifetime of traditional cultivation, Graham's trialling some new science. I never thought I'd say biology, avocados and stem cells in the same sentence. You would have heard of human stem cell research. So this is plant stem cell research. It's the same stem cells with the potential to divide. It's the world's first system of tissue culturing avocado this way. It has never happened before. So this isn't only at the cutting edge of Australian science, this is global leading research. This is global. Professor Nina Mitter and her team are using stem cells to speed up production. They're creating robust stock in fewer steps and far faster than Graham can. What I'm trying to do here is to take very, very small piece of tissue, which has a lot of cells having the capacity to grow into one single plant from each cell. So how big a piece 
are you trying to harvest here? Ideally less than 0.1 millimetre. So this 0.1 of a millimetre piece of plant material has the potential to make how many adult plants? Using the process that we have developed, uh, it can produce about 500 plants from that tiny piece of tissue. 500 trees from that tiny little piece of tissue? Yes. That is mind-boggling. The small buds are then placed in a growing solution, specially developed here, which encourages them to shoot and, crucially, to root. Whoa. And welcome to the world of avocado plants. Wow. In this about 20 square metre room, we have 20,000 avocado plants here. Each one of these jars are avocado trees in the Absolutely. making. Absolutely, you can see wow. here, this is how these beautiful avocado plants are growing. This is incredible, because uh, earlier I was at an avocado nursery in the more traditional sense with 100,000 plants, but it was huge. And so just in this tiny little room, to 20,000 20, yeah. 20, avocado plants. And of course, there's one thing missing in the process here that was causing the bottleneck on Graham's farm. In this case, there's no seed. Right. So we are not using any seed to make these plants. No seed? No seed. So that must represent a significant leap forward Abs in avocado production. Absolutely. That's where we want a you know, constant supply of plants without any dependence on season, without any dependence on seed supply, and an absolutely resource uh, efficient way. You know, So there's no land required, pesticides, fertilizers, all that equation is avoided. And it's faster. The lab can produce resilient rooting stock in around nine months, compared to the 18 months it currently takes on Graham's farm. It's amazing to think that such a small lab could have such a big impact on the future of avocado production. And what I find even more inspiring is that even with our relatively small population, it's Australian scientists leading the way.